Eighth event then at Sha Tin, race number eight, back onto the turf. We're done with the all-weather races. Now is a class three over the mile, headed by game player time. Seventh on debut, bought graded form from South America. Glor Glorious Lover was fourth on debut. That was behind circuit three, comes up in trip. Lakeshore Eagle third behind Monica last time out. Mr. Alden beat Monica last time out. Different races, super elegant, uh, fourth behind Mr. Alden on his uh, last start. Down to Earth Trilogy, beaten a long way by Mr. Alden on uh, his um, last start effort. Alfie Chan takes seven pounds off and data chip leader comes up in class with a last start course and distance win at beating ever last his first time in this grade mr allen nuremberg and earth trilogy are the horses that have been up at chung good to slow the prediction here there are a lot of horses that do get back in this one horse that uh, doesn't and he went forward last time out was earth trilogy but he's hopelessly out of form at the moment he's on a mark of 64. Uh, cheerful leader's got gate number 10. Uh, he can press forward he was uh, handy again last start that's where he does his racing kobe bar on the inside he was caught wide he's got gate number one this time Time round. Then on the next line there you've got Super Elegance, Smart Patch has come up with an awkward draw this time round and so too has Charity Go. Didn't think it was a fluke Mr Alden's win last time, it was a strong win from him and he'd always, always been threatening to do it and he'd been back to do it a few times as well so everything went right from him from the wide draw, he, even though he's drawn wide he got a good run at the back and hit the line strong and he's come on since that race as well. Super Elegance, now he's a horse who has been very consistent without winning, he'd run fourth, a second at his last four starts followed up by a fourth so uh, he's going well at the moment he just can't seem to break through for that win uh, and the other one cheerful leader now he did break through for a win at his last start uh, Joe Marrera board on race day as well. And he, another one that's improved since that win. He's uh, up in class with a very low weight. Mm, looks good there in his track work as well. Cheerful leader. Uh, let's start off with the uh, glorious lover. Now, this is his first start. He used to race under the same name for Ed Walker in the UK. I think this is a good effort um, behind Circuit 3. He's, he's come out and won again since. Yeah, I thought, yeah, the Circuit 3 looks very progressive. So uh, there's no shame in running forth to him. And it was a really good debut run, as you mentioned. Uh, hit the line nicely enough. And uh, look, I'm going to give him a chance. I've got him in the numbers uh, to uh, go. And Zach Purden was aboard and I, he's stuck, stuck with the ship as well. Yeah, I'm going to put him in. He has failed over 1,600 metres, but that was on a, a rain-affected track at Ascot. So I think he should improve out of that effort. Well beaten behind Circuit 3, but he's just uh, racing so well at the moment. The horse he was closing in on, the, the black jacket, was um, top score. Mm. Yeah, he won last some, weekend. Yeah. So... Again, the form looks uh, pretty good around him. Uh, Lakeshore Eagles, uh, pretty consistent. Uh, he's running third here with uh, Go Ballistic engaged as well behind Monica. Again, the form stands up. Yeah, this was here for uh, Chris and Karis Titan. He's been racing well enough. Uh, again, at 1,600 metres behind Monica last time out. Maybe have got tightened up a little bit uh, just prior to the, the 300 metres. But look, he stayed on OK there. Uh, super elegance. I can't believe he's come up favourite at 2.2. He's been trying really hard, but hasn't quite been able to get that win on the, the board. But um, was a, a decent effort again from him. Yeah, you wouldn't take the 2.2, would you? No. You can do me out of that. But I'll tell you, it was a nice run, I thought, from Lakeshore Eagle. He hit the line well, and he's, he's won three from nine. So he has, uh, he's got plenty of ability of it. All right. Well, you can see Super Elegance um, again here with uh, Mr. Alden winning. And as a form reference, the grey is Monica that we just saw previously. But uh, Mr. Alden just a bit too good. Yeah, look, he drew 13, so he went back in this race. Um, he came out wide and he hit the line really nicely. I don't think it was a fluke by any stretch of the imagination. As I mentioned earlier on, he's been threatening to do it. He's got barrier three and I think he'll win again. Yeah, I've got him in the mix uh, this time round, uh, Mr Alden. Smart patch, look, he's drawn wide here. He was held up a little bit last time out, but uh, the wide store is not going to do him any favours. I think he's had his chance uh, recently. The other one I don't mind is Go Ballistic. He was staying on OK in the, uh, the orange and yellow out wider there. All right, one more to have a look at, and that's Cheerful Leader. We saw him look good in his track work, looked pretty good here as well. Winning in Class 4 company last time out as favourite, beating Ever Laugh, who has won since. Yeah, I think he's the horse to beat here with uh, the light weight on his back up in grey, trying the, the grade for the first time. He's uh, a winner of just this one race from his six starts, but he's very, very consistent, as you mentioned, beating home Ever Laugh uh, there, and uh, he won it uh, with, I thought, some authority on this occasion. Yeah, he's a Quidella horse for me because he did run away nicely, and it was a really nice win from him. This was only his six starters as well and prior to that he'd been very consistent so I think he's up to winning in the bottom of class three. Yeah it all ties in it's Destin that we saw or talked about yeah. earlier on um, as well so um, I think it's a very competitive race and as a result I'm slightly surprised about the price of Super Elegant. Yeah it's come up really short hasn't he but look I've left him out in fact I've got Mr Alden on top thought it was a strong win and he can go on with it a cheerful leader the one to beat with the lightweight Glorious Lover with a really good debut run and Lakeshore Eagle he's stretched out really nicely late so 6-14-3-5 but I will go Exotics 3, 6 and 14.
The horse with the lightweight uh, stepping up in grade for me, a cheerful leader horse number 14 for Joe Marrera and uh, Ricky Youth against the horse to beat Glorious Lovers and as to as Mr Alden Lake Shore Eagle couldn't quite sneak in super elegance but he's come up short all right, 14, 3, 6 and 5. All right, we've all got, it seems a very competitive race, we've all got the same four numbers. <laughs> i got the six on top as well, I've just got the second and third turned around with Paul but uh, there you go, yeah, I think it's a fantastic race number eight. Eight. 11 races though, so we've still got uh, three more to go. Race number nine, class two, a good one, maybe a derby trial over the 1800 metres.